Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install TP-Link, a modded controller on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home lab, turn install things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we've been installing today, a mod a so a software controller. Uh, it makes it where you can manage 1500 Amada access points, a jet stream switches, and Amada routers. It does have cloud access and free of charge. This is what it looks like. So, we'll be installing this with Docker. So, this is the Docker image that we'll be using, Docker Amada controller. It's by M. Bentley. Um, you can go look at the, uh, the Docker file if you like. Um... There's a lot of info right here and the, the readme. So um, that's the Docker image that we'll be using. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And uh, this is the third party app store for Cost OS. It's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, these are all the apps that are in the store now. And this is the one that we'll be installing today. Um, I did do a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm, I'm going to go over it in this video as well. The custom app stores is only supported on 0 0.4.4 or newer of Cost OS. I'm going to scroll all the way up to App Store URL here, and then I'm going to copy this URL, and then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get this set up. So now we're going to start on our Cost OS. I'm going to go in the App Store. And then I'm going to go over to more apps over here. I'm going to paste in the URL that I copied over in Big Bear Casa OS. Now I'm going to add. Now we have 154 apps available. So if you refresh the page, go back in the app store, go to categories, Big Bear Casa OS. Now you see all the uh, apps in Big Bear Casa OS that are available to you. So we got it set up. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Casa OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to go, go to file right here. I'm going to type in TP and then I'm going to go to it. So Docker impose. And then the cost OS app name is going to be called Big Bear Amada Controller. And then services are set. So app underneath the services right here. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Amada Controller. The image is coming off Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to set a limits on system level resources, uh, the open files. And then um, stop grace period is 60 seconds. The network mode is host, and that means it's sharing the host network. So that means you don't need to, to do any mapping of the ports. It's going to be just using the host network. So um, this is the environment variables. So the user ID, the user and group IDs, the ports defined, and um, the, the, it's, it's already using the host network. So these are going to be on there already. Um, this could cause a port conflict if you are uh, uh, if you do have another app using 8088 or these ports, uh, the, the ports for the app and, and device discovery, and then uh, the server logs, and then MongoDB logs, and then SSL certificate. I would set this to your own time zone if you'd like. And then now we're going to map vo volumes. So data, app data, app ID is a dynamic variable gotten from the cost OS app name up here. And then the uh, data. So this is on the host side. And then this is on the container side, opt, TP-Link, e EAP, controller, and then data. And then now this is on the host side. This is on the container side. So now I'm going to set some X cost in this per, uh, specific configuration down here to explain the environment variables and to explain the volumes. And now 
uh, some cost OS specific information for the um, the app store actually. So the architectures that the Docker image supports, and I'm talking about this Docker image up here, is AMD64 and ARM and ARM64. Main is set to the app, the, the service name up here, app. And then the description, and then the tagline, the developer of the uh, Docker file, and then the author of the Docker Impose, icon, a thumbnail, and the title, the category, so people can easily find the Big Bird Cost OS specific apps. And then um, the, uh, the, the port map is 8088, and that rhymes with the port up here, the managed HTTP port. So that's a little bit about the Docker Impose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we're going to get the app installed. So we're going to start on our Cos OS. We're going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to search box. Uh, I'm going to type in TP. And then, you know it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because of the category down here. So I'm going to go in here and install. You can continue in background. So I'm going to continue in background. And you see it's installing up here. This could take a little bit because what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image from the registry, getting it extracted, and getting it up with Docker Impose underneath because this does use uh, the, the Docker engine. So... Um, you can see it's coming up. This does get stuck sometimes, so I'm gonna re refresh it. Okay, now it's up and running, so we got it installed. So now I'm gonna go over the options for the container. So I'm gonna go up these vertical dots. So you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. And in the newest version of Cost OS, it done away with the edit button, but it's still here. And now you can edit it, so you can put anything in here you want. And then you press the save button, which is invisible right now for some reason. And then now uh, the TP-Link Amada controller is okay now. So it reloads the container in the background. And then if you go back into tips, you should see it saved. You can, go, you can go in the settings right here, and you can set some information. And then you can save. Um, you can go up to terminal logs uh, and, and you can go inside the container. There, there we go. And then you can see the logs are uh, great for debugging. You can export the Docker Compose right here. I'm going to exit out of there. So um, you can check for updates for the current tag it's on. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So that's the options. So now I'm going to go in the UI. So I'm going to go into it. And I'm going to say, let's get started. And then I'm going to put a name in. So admin and then admin at example.com. And then I'm going to put a password in. And then now I'm going to say no cloud access. And then I'm going to accept the terms of use and privacy policy. I'm going to say next. So I'm going to configure his new setup, or you can do backup as well, uh, the restore. Um, so I'm going to go with that next. And then I'm going to put a site name in. And then you can put a device account in. And then I'm going to say home, next, next, skip, skip, and then finish. Now we can log in. So we're going to log in with our site administrator account that we just created. Then now we're logged in. So now it takes you through a tutorial and then site overview, MSP overview, and then AI WLAN and then optimization. Network monitoring, site management, account management, settings, and now tutorial finished. So this is what it looks like.
And then now you have one site. Then there we go. And then you can go over statistics, map, devices, clients, insights, logs, tools, and reports. You can also go up here to your account settings. And there you go, you're in your account settings now. And then you can turn on two-factor. You can also go over here about tutorial and feedback. Go up here to search. Then you can switch between the sites, the hotspot manager. So that's how to get TP-Link Amata controller running on CosOS. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting TP-Link Amata controller running on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.